and then I do the windshield wiper where it's starting to still kind of away from my body. It is no longer away from my body and bad things happen. Do not windshield wiper unless you know what you're doing with it. The, the, the kind of parry that is like a windshield wiper is called a bind, which we can teach later. Pretty much it's grabbing your opponent's blade and then maneuvering it to a different position forcefully with your own blade. But that's not the same as going like this. So it's, it's, you'll have to take control of the blade and then twist, rather than trying to just swap the blade away with your own sword. So what you want to do is you just want to push. And you don't really want your tip to move a whole bunch. Doing this is OK. But for the, uh, a really good inside parry is this. And it's, it's a very small motion. But if you watch, if you want to extend it real fast. Extend. If I were to parry this attack, that's as far as I needed to go. If you were to keep going, he would miss. So that's all the parry that I need to do. That's all the power that I need to put into it. It's just that far. And that's really not that far from here to here. I mean, that's not even a foot of distance. Yeah. And, 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 that's, and that's enough to block it. And then I can come here, or I can do anything else from here. I can come this way, or I can even do a bind down and then walk in. So there's a lot of things I can do from that position um, that, that even, even as close to me as that, it's, it's not as far as you think. A lot of times, especially at the beginning, you guys will un un undoubtedly, when you guys lunge, you'll do a big parry and push them all the way out here, and that's okay. That's, that's, the, that's, that's the expected. I mean, how many times does someone come at you? So you want to get as far away from you as possible. But the more you think small, precise motions, then the better off you will be, the more you will be able to do quickly uh, an attack after you parry. So that's the inside parry. So it's just on guard, and it's just a small little push. And a lot of times what I like to think about is since I like to hold it at the 30 degree angle, I also rotate as I push. So I'll rotate my thumb back up and I'll push, I'll push out. Now that's a, that's a pretty big, um, uh, pretty, pretty big motion, but that's, that's the type of motion that we want. It's, it's just a push out. Um, and we want to keep the tip pretty much pointed at our opponent so that we can come back in with a repost. A lot of fencing terms, a repost is something after you parry, then you're, then you're attacked straight from your parry to your opponent. They call it a parry or post attack. Um, next one is the outside parry, which if you're holding a normal long guard should be a very, very small motion because there shouldn't be very much outside that you're showing. An outside parry is pretty much the same thing, but it's just a little push out. And most of the time, all I do, I don't even push, I just end up rotating. So all it is is a rotation from here to here. And that's as far as I need to go. There's no way that the function blade is going to be able to come around from that side. The only time that will happen is with a lefty. And in which case you'll have to do different kinds of parries, which we can teach you later. Because lefties, if, if you're facing a lefty here, if you're, if you're under, so if you're if you parry the outside, yeah, yeah, there you go, there you go, good, right here. I mean, if I just extend, I can still come and hit you. So a lefty is going to be a little bit different. But noted that you can also do the same thing with the lefty if you're on the same side. So the lefty, however, the lefty faces more righties than you face lefties, so they have kind of the advantage there. Um, because they face more of you than you of them. Um, so that's, those are your four basic things. You're on guard, your motion, you're attacking, and you're defending. Um, those are the three things that you'll need to know, or the four things you'll need to know. Um, from there, you can pretty much start fencing. Um, uh, we can, we'll, we'll, I'll go through a little bit of a few things. Um, we'll just, we'll do some free fencing. Um, and, uh, we'll see what happens. But um, don't don't be don't be too upset because this is like your first day, so that's that's perfectly okay. Um, like I said, in that phase, there's double touches and both hit you know, at pretty much the same time, and you both get awarded points. Um, other than that, there's no real other rules. Um, if you walk, if you go past the person, um, action halts. Touch the other person, action halts. Um, if three or more points touch ground, action halts. Um, yeah, don't, don't grab your opponent's blade. Um, this hand should be. Okay, oh, backhand. Um, I'm sure if you guys watch a lot of fencing things, the backhand, people do different things. Some people put their backhand like this to keep it out of the way. Some people just let it hang. Some people keep here like me, some people you see here, some people you see here. Some people you see here. <laughs> a lot of people that are 
and as long as they don't interfere with any of your motions, it's perfectly fine. It's something you do. I I I, I don't know where I developed it, but I, I fence like this. Um, it's just something I developed, and it works for me. The um, reason why there is giggling is because we dubbed it the T Rex fence. <laughs> Better than this one. T Rex you know, with the short little arms. That's why there's all that giggling. Please ignore that. It's but, but do, keep it, do, do keep in mind that this hand is target area. It's the only part of your body that should that should be uncovered. That's target area. So, but I mean, this it's on the side of your body. So most of the time, that gets it. Um, and if you are wondering why I'm dressed in full uniform, it's because I didn't wear a belt with those pants and then they fall off. Of it. So um, I had to change them. So, all right. Um, one other thing I want to mention, especially like you, I think you you have some background in baseball and stuff, right? Uh, some background. Um, a lot, something I see a lot is with a lot of beginners is that when they see things moving toward their face, they try to catch or at least block, kind of something like that. I had one guy who did an actual arm block. That was interesting. But the uh, problem with that is it's probably not going to be fast enough to block it. And B, if you block it, it's hand, your soft squishy flesh versus steel. Steel does not really lose often. Yeah. The only case. Well, 